Hello and welcome. But before we get to our cover story tonight on fine print, some news just coming in from the southern Indian state of Kerala. Finally, a woman is reported to have made it to the Shabari Mala temple. After days of tussle, there was a sudden activity this evening, leading to protesters forming a human chain around the Sanctum Sanctorum. Now, recently, India's top court allowed women to enter the Shabari Mala temple, overturning a decades-old tradition of barring women of menstruating age from offering prayers to Lord Ayappa. But over the last few days, one saw priests and locals alike stopping women from entering the temple. And joining me on the phone line from Shabarimala is my colleague Siddharth MP. Siddharth, what do we know about this woman? Who is she? When and how did she enter the Shabarimala temple? Walk us through all that you've been able to glean from the ground. We all started about the entire and then there was this huge spurt in activity around the Shabarimala temple. It was just going on like any other routine day, but that's when there was a spurt in activity. And there was a loud chanting of Ayyapa's name, and they were singing the praise of Lord Ayyapa. And they also uh, gathered around the areas that are near the sanctum, in the vicinity of the sanctum. It is all days that As of now, whether the lady has entered the temple or gotten near the vicinity, this is all based on suspicion. I repeat, this is based on suspicion, where uh, the, the, uh, the vigil has been stepped up. All the devotees and the protesters have even formed a human chain around the sanctum to ensure that even if somebody just gets near to the temple, we do not enter the inner sanctum. Right, so Siddharth is pointing out this is based on hearsay. These are unverified uh, piece of information still. But Siddharth, why is this woman's act, if at all she indeed entered the temple, so significant now? Uh, explain significance, if you will, for the benefit of viewers who might not be familiar with the issue at hand here. Well, basically, uh, since the Supreme Court order came out, there's been strong opposition against this new order that has been prevalent around Kerala. The people of Kerala were not willing to accept this. And as you can see, the devotees and uh, all of the protesters here are gathered around. For them, it's more about prestige and for them, it's more about devotion and an emotional issue. Because in the world of the devotees here, they are saying that they guarded the shrine for six days now. They protected Lord Ayyappa for six days without it, with, uh, by ensuring that women do not get into the vicinity of the temple. But now that it is just barely two hours before the shrine closes, they just want to ensure that their six days of work does not go away because six days they were all here protesting and ensuring that women don't get close. So now that now that there's barely two hours to go, they're ensuring that uh, you know this is foolproof. All right. That was my colleague Siddharth MP joining me on the phone line from Shabarimala saying that there are reports that a woman may have entered the Shabarimala temple uh, in defiance of the priests and locals alike. Remember, the Supreme Court had allowed women to enter the temple.